So guys, boom. Welcome back to another episode of Juice May TV. It's your boy Juice May Hoops. Today we have something quick to talk about. Now, as you guys know, ESPN just released the rankings for all the high school classes, the 22 class, the 23 class, and that 24 class. Now, previously, I don't know if you guys checked out the video or not, but we did go pretty in depth in that 23 class. We talked about Mikey Williams actually dropping down to that 16th spot. We talked about Bronny James at 43. DJ Wagner still remaining at that number one player. Guys, we pretty much broke down that class in depth. So if you haven't checked that video out, make sure you guys checked out that one. So in this video, we're actually going to be breaking down this 2022 high school class, go in depth, pretty much like how we did before, introduce you guys to some new players, speak about the popular players in the class, the Amari Baileys, the Keontae Georges, everything that we need to know about this 22 class. So with all that being said, guys, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button like you've never smashed anything in your life. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Juice Man, who's with the extra S at the end. And with all that being said, guys, let's go and get straight into this video. So guys, boom, starting off with the number one overall ranked player in the class, we do have Derek Lively. Now, if you don't know Derek Lively, he is a seven foot one center. And as you can see here, he is already committed to play for Duke. Now, for those who don't know who Derek Lively is, he did play with Amani Bates in the summer, as well as Jalen Duran. And he is definitely a player that can dominate the paint anytime this man wants especially on that high school level now if i could describe his play style in any sort of way it honestly may be a stretch but i could say like an anthony davis he's pretty much a player that that scores his points mainly being so athletic and just stronger and faster than everybody on this level but he also does have a ton of skill he dropped 24 points and 20 rebounds against mikey williams the other day now i will say that i did see a lot of missed opinions about him actually being ranked as the number one player Personally, he does have all the skills. He has the qualities to be the number one player in the class, but I am interested to see how he's going to play on the collegiate level as well as that NBA level. To me, he is good enough to be the number one player in the class, so there's really no reason why anybody should be hating on Derek Lively. Now, moving on to the second player rated in the class, we do have Amari Bailey. I think he's probably the most fan favorited player in this class. Does play with Bronny James at Sierra Canyon High School, and he is already committed to play at UCLA. Now, if you guys don't know, Amari Bailey to me for the past couple Couple years i feel like he's solidified himself as a top five player in the class now he rarely has played this year because of injury he did recently come back about two three weeks ago and he's still definitely doing his thing so i'm personally not mad that he is rated as a second ranked player in the class but i know i have been seeing a lot of people saying oh why is amari bailey still rated top five even though he's barely played this year but like i said i think he's already solidified himself whenever he's locked in whenever he's loaded whenever he's serious he's definitely a top five talent so i'm personally not mad moving on to number three we do have keontae george he's already committed to play at baylor he recently just transferred to play at img academy he already has hit a game winner for img academy i believe they they were also the number one team in the entire country at a point and guys i've seen this man keontae george in person on on the tv highlights media full games everything you can possibly see about keontae i personally thought that he was going to be rated as the number one player in the class i guess they think he's number three you really can't be mad at that he still has some time to get that number one player in the country but like I said, number three isn't too bad, but, but let's go and move on to number four, which we do have Derek Whitehead. I feel like Derek Whitehead is a player that's really been emerging this season. He does play for Montverde Academy. He's also another top five player in the country that is also headed to Duke. And a lot of people are actually comparing this man, saying he's the next Donovan Mitchell type player, Dwayne Wade. He's already got that praise even from those NBA players as well. So Derek Whitehead, he does have a lot of potential and he does have a lot of room to grow. And he's definitely a player that I feel like is turning into a fan favorite for a lot of people around the country kyle filibowski is a guy that i feel like a lot of people would need to put on the radars if they haven't already he's ranked as a fifth ranked player in the country and coincidentally it's weird that he's ranked number five also because he's actually a fifth year senior if you didn't know and he also repeated the 10th grade as well so a lot of people are going to say that he does have the upper edge and solely on that is the reason why he actually didn't make the mcdonald's all-american game to me he still drops buckets he's super skilled a lot of people are actually comparing him to like a nikola Jokic. he's also going to do i think duke definitely has a center that's going to be dominant for the next year so i'm honestly interested to see how kyle filibowski is going to play for the render season and in college nick smith is actually an interesting player that i feel like a lot of people need to put on their radars i've seen him in person as well the game that i did see he did play kimball high school down here in texas and he also hit the game winner now if you guys don't know who draft express is they do scouting reports 
reports, they do breakdowns. They're a pretty reliable source. They actually rank Nick Smith as the number one overall ranked player in the country. And to me, like I said, I've seen this man in person. This man is definitely the truth. A super oversized point guard as well. I think he has the qualities to be the number one player in the country. And like I said, if you guys don't if you guys don't know too much about this man, Nick Smith, definitely put your radars on him. Moving on to number eight, Grady Dick. Dude, I'm telling you guys, this guy is definitely the truth. He's not scared of no competition. This man's arguably one of the best shooters in the entire country as well. Kansas, they definitely got a good one with them. And also shout out to players like Kaysen Wallace, Jaden Bradley, Arterio Morris, Anthony Black. Guys, this class has a ton of great players in this class as well. Shout out to Sky Clark. He's actually rated as the 25th over overall ranked player in the country a lot of people are actually mad that he didn't make the mcdonald's all-american game he was also a player that didn't really play too much this year also because of injury so there's a lot of mixed opinions on there now moving on to the 28th ranked player we do have this man dior johnson arguably the most hated player in the entire country guys first off what do you guys think about dior johnson actually moving down to number 28 personally i think he's definitely a top 15 at least top 15 at least player in the country i think he has the skills the qualities he's proved that he can definitely take any team like we all know this man transfers every other game and every time he steps on the court no matter who he's playing with he can play with a tooth pit he can play with a toothbrush he's still gonna get buckets he's still gonna lead them to the promised land and that's why i personally respect this man dior johnson because he's definitely a real one shout out to dior johnson me and drs tv are actually trying to get this man on an interview so make sure y'all go dm dior johnson tell him juice may hoops and drs we got to get this interview going but yeah let me know what you guys actually think about dior johnson actually moving down guys this class may not be as popular as that 2020 three high school class but they definitely have players that i feel like are gonna be something great in college as well as the nba there's a lot of hidden talent here as well shout out to guys like doug mcdaniel who's rated as the 60th overall ranked player in the country shout out to isaac mcneely he did his thing whenever he played against Bronny james in the summer shout out to bj edwards jordan walsh guys there's so many great players in this class if you guys haven't already make sure you hit the link in the description check out the class for yourselves look up some of these players there's a lot of great players in the country that a lot of people don't really talk talk about or even know about and yes they may be ranked but they still don't have the cloud and that's why i'm trying to tell you if you're watching this video and you're not ranked you don't have no exposure this this and that you can get a college scholarship school too you can get a d1 scholarship you just got to set yourself up so so yeah make sure you guys keep working and yeah with all that being said guys thank you thank you thank you if you made it to the end please make sure you smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already Already. if you guys want an in-depth breakdown of the 24 class as well make sure you guys comment down below let's get this conversation started let's get a great basketball conversation started introduce you guys to some new players and also let me know down below who do you guys feel like should be the number one player in the country and yeah with all that being said guys thank you for watching make sure you guys check out that 23 video as well yeah with all that being said guys thank you for watching it's been another episode of juice my tv peace